Good morning, guys! Welcome back to the channel. I know what you're thinking. Lauren, your hair is in a towel and you are definitely not at the office. Where are you? We're gonna get into it today, so don't worry. Now at least the towel is gone. I'm gonna give you guys an update. So I'm gonna set you guys down and we're gonna talk for a little bit. I'm gonna tell you guys what's been going on, where have we been, and what our plans are moving forward. Because I've got so much to share and we also have a very busy day today. So this is gonna be a good vlog. Obviously, if you guys have been watching our vlogs here, if you've been following us for a while, whether on our apparel page, Cotswold & Co, or our Cotswold Transfers page, you know that my mom and I have worked together. I love my mom dearly. She is like literally one of my best friends. Back in February, I got some very exciting news and it's that I'm pregnant. <laughs> so literally this is my belly today. <laughs> kind of crazy, literally first thing in the morning too. I am actually about 20 weeks along, so we're halfway through the pregnancy at this point. And when I found out that I was pregnant, a lot of things started to change. If you guys didn't know, the office that my mom and I were working and sharing together, what, it's an hour away from where I live because it's in her town. So it was like five minutes from her house, really convenient for her. But it was an hour drive for me every day there and then an hour drive back home, which is a lot of driving. And with the business that was growing and continuing to grow, honestly, I had to be there pretty much every single day, Monday through Friday. And that was just no longer looking doable, <laughs> especially because my first trimester, I ended up getting morning sickness and nausea and just like all day sickness pretty much for quite some time. I was pretty sick probably I would say until about week 14. It was a long time of not feeling great. Um, literally every single day it was so hard. I was exhausted, I was felt sick. I didn't wanna eat, like it was rough y'all. <laughs> not to mention just like, the whole mental side of being pregnant and like comprehending that and like planning that and like consuming content for it and just it was a lot going on so uh, you know business quite literally was the last thing on my mind and it was the last thing i wanted to do i did not feel good i did not feel like doing that I did not feel like coming on camera i didn't feel like doing anything so i knew that with baby coming we needed to make a lot of changes and adjustments i wasn't going to be able to bring the baby up an hour drive and an hour home every single day to come work with me and you know i i need help from our family to watch our child if that was going to be the case but my mom works with me obviously so she wouldn't be able to come and help um luckily my uh, mother-in-law lives near us but she also works a full-time job so she's not going to be able to come and watch him during the day and i just don't know that i'm fully ready for someone to watch our child full-time especially so soon after giving birth so for us it was the best decision to decide to move some of the business home with me and we did kind of have to split it up a little bit between my mom and i because i wanted to leave her with something that she could do to still make money but i also needed to take something so that i could make money and i also wanted to just have more things at home so that when baby does come i can have the flexibility of getting the work in when i can versus feeling like I have to go Monday through Friday during like business hours. If you have kids, I'm sure you completely understand where I'm coming from. And you're like, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Totally get it. Um, so yeah, that's what prompted a lot of the change that you guys will see in our upcoming things. First of which is that we subleased out our office to somebody else. So we are no longer in the office space. Little bit of a bummer because that does mean that we are in smaller spaces and stuff like that. Secondly, mom has taken over the Etsy shop. That is mostly going to be done through print on demand. So she's working on that business so that she has something a little bit more passive. So I'm gonna be taking over more of the apparel side of the business that does not include Etsy so that I can do things like embroidery and heat pressing, wholesale orders and whatnot. You guys will mostly just see me. You might see my mom a couple of times, just depending, you know, if things get busy and I need her help, she's gonna come here and help me to do things or she might come and just still be a part of stuff as we go along. But for right now, it's basically just going to be myself for a little bit um once baby is here she'll probably also kind of step in a little bit and help just to kind of bridge that gap between when i have baby and like postpartum and stuff like that so that's kind of the plan <laughs> that's where we're at with things right now this is actually going to be the nursery um for our child which i'm so excited about i have just temporarily set up in here um within the past couple of weeks or so as we move 
a bunch of stuff out of our guest room in the front room. So we're going to kind of go through the process. I'll bring you guys along with me. We'll do a vlog whenever I start moving and putting things back into that front office. It's actually where the office was set up at the very, very, very beginning. I think I have vlogs um, on this channel of that office space and like a day in the life. So um, if I can find those, I will link it down below because those are fun. You guys can kind of see um, how I had that all set up. Oh, we're doing a TikTok live. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot. A TikTok live today. I've got a bunch of t-shirts over here. We've got some screen print transfers on this side. We're gonna do $15 mystery tees today for people. Very pumped about that, it'll be fun. We're gonna have a good day. So let's get going. <laughs> I work from home, you guys can see more of my puppy Charlie. He loves to look out this window because little bunnies like to run along here on the side of our yard. I'm at the t-shirt warehouse right now, about to go in and pay for my invoice and then grab the shirts from the back side of the warehouse. So let's go do that. We got the goods. They're ready to go. Curbside order, so we're gonna wait for them to bring the order out. I literally have so much that I need to do to prep for the live. I need to update the website with the inventory that I have available for sure. I need to sample test to make sure my heat press is ready to go. I also need to eat lunch before I get started. Uh, fill up my water bottle, obviously, and then I need to set out all the packing supplies and get everything organized for that too. This is the scale I ended up picking up this time. This one's just by the brand Dymo. Eventually I'm gonna get a heavier one though because we do wholesale orders as well. And usually these little ones are not enough to be able to weigh those heavier packages. I'm also heating up the heat press right now. I wanna do a test press just to make sure that my temperature is correct for all my settings. This is a sweatshirt that needs to be embroidered, so I'm gonna put that on the other table. These are for a wholesale order later. I'm offering more comfort color t-shirts now in the shop, so that's what these are for. I'm gonna set them aside because I don't think I'll have time to do them before the live. This is the brand of shirt that I'm gonna be using today though for TikTok Lives. This is the Gildan Soft Style. This is pretty comparable to Bella and Canvas. Um, it's 100% cotton as well, and they do have a good color range, but they're pretty affordable. It's a great starting shirt. Um, I will list my favorite place to buy like wholesale apparel from. Um, I have some online people that I prefer, and I use local as well. You guys may notice if you've been watching the vlogs that this is obviously not our old heat press that we have. The other one that we have with the really pretty slide out stuff and things like that actually is too strong of a power source for what we have at my house. So basically if I plug in that, it will trip our wires <laughs> and literally shut off um, all the power to this room and I'd have to go fix the burn. And a hot peel. I feel like my pressure needs to be a little bit better, but it's not bad. Beautiful. Okay, so that was just a quick test run. I just want to make sure that my settings felt right for this. So here's a fun little t-shirt, a size small. So the mystery designs for today's post or for today's live is we've got life is a beach, make some waves. We've also got, it's not that deep. I like that this one's like kind of spacey Y2K. And then we're also gonna do couple of these socially awkward ones. And then we've got two of these forever anxious ones left as well. Okay, we are about 15 minutes from going live. So here is my little setup. I've got my fan going because it does get hot in this room when the heat press is on. So we've got that. Charlie's got his bed so he can look out his window. I've got t-shirts. The pink just looks like there's a lot more because of how they're folded, but there's the same amount of both. <laughs> so there's pink and blue. I've got my water and a soda for a little energy, some tools if I need them, an example t-shirt, the screen prints that we're going to be using. These are for writing down the name and which print they want on their t-shirt. So what I'm going to try and do, I think, is make a pile. Basically, I'll do t-shirt, transfer, order info. 
That way I can do it all pretty quickly and I'll kind of just make a stack. I'm gonna move all this down and I'll make a little stack here so that I can pull, press the orders. And then as I'm done pressing the order, I'll take their little order sheet and that. I'm just gonna make a little pile over here. This is where we're gonna pack the orders later on live. So I've got my little setup over here going. I've got my little packing mailers, thank you cards, postal um, scale, a little pin if I need it, lint roller, you know the deal. The only thing left that I need to put over here is my um, thermal label printer so that I can print out labels easily. We have got the live set up and ready to go. Everything's filled out. We will check in soon. I might just hop on like a few minutes early. That way I can set up everything and like be on there on time. just got wrapped up with the live it went really well i sold five t-shirts which is great for just coming back and getting started i'm really happy with that so thank you if you attended the live so many of you guys got to hop on and say hi we talked a lot i shared a lot of fun stuff with you guys if you're not already following me over on tiktok and instagram highly recommend it it's at clotsold and co <sighs> so out of breath. <laughs> I have one more order that I need to make before I run to the post office and it's one of our new embroidered sweatshirts. It's our bookaholic embroidered sweatshirt. I think this is so cute. Someone ordered it yesterday so thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this sweatshirt embroidered. I did also finish the wholesale order um, on the live too so that got done and then I pa packaged up the other orders that I can send out and then I have another one that I'm waiting on because she wanted to get an another shirt that was not part of the live so I have to get the things to make that first because everything is made to order so let's go ahead and make this embroidered sweatshirt Just finish. Going to take it out. And now we need to unhoop it. And then after I unhoop it, I'm gonna go through and cut all the little loose threads and just make sure that it looks all neat and tidy. We'll also cut the stabilizer underneath so that there's not so much of it. Okay, now that we've got her sweatshirt ready, we are going to pack it up. Look how cute that turned out. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at that. So let's go ahead and get this packaged up and we're going to also need to ship it. So I'm gonna need my scale and everything back. I did also just post an Instagram. So I'm gonna share that to my story. And I also need to post it over to TikTok, but I have not done that yet either. Sweatshirts are almost a little big for these packages, but they kind of fit perfectly. Boom. Now we need to plug in my little thermal label printer so I can print out a label for this because I just unplugged it. Okay, I am done packaging up the orders. I'm about to go and drop them off at the post office and then come back. Basically the rest of the day I'm going to be doing some computer work, but I'll update you guys on that. Let's go to the post office. Hey guys, this is editing Lauren coming in to let you guys know that this is going to bring us to the end of today's vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed being around and seeing more content again. I'm excited to be back. So many more fun updates and things to come very soon. What I'm going to do for you guys right on the screen is link for you the last vlog as well as the entire playlist full of them if you want to go and check them out. You're going to find my subscribe button down here. I'm going to shoot for one to two videos a week here on this channel again, so look out for those. And then lastly, I'm going to link you guys on over to our apparel page if you want to come and check out any of our new apparel. And without further ado, that brings us to the end. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!